Hey guys, it's Gregor. So today is gonna be something different again. We're gonna do a Let's Talk, which I haven't done in far too long, I think. And if you're new and you don't know what a Let's Talk is, it's basically where I talk to you guys about things that concern you, concern me, or that, you know, bother me, or I wanna talk about simply. So today I actually wanted to talk about positivity. And before we get into that, uh, I just want to ask you guys what kind of games do you want to see? Mainly because I've been throwing everything against the wall to see what sticks. And some things stick and some things simply don't stick. So I'm just curious, like, what type of games do you want me to play? And don't try to cop out with, well, it doesn't really matter that much because I know that if I play a game that you might not enjoy, you will not watch it so to a degree it does matter even for you so I've seen City Skylines so I really want to play that I want to see uh, if I can make a series of that I'll just make one episode and if you guys enjoy it I'll, I'll maybe make a series I've seen Life is Strange by a lot of you and the thing is like in my update video like that's the only video like I've seen a lot of you talk about and it really hurts me because I really want to play it. I really want to record it, but like I said in my update video, I don't want to risk losing my channel. So I'm still working on that, and whenever I can play that, trust me, I will play Life is Strange. So let's get back to the main topic, which is positivity. You guys probably already know on Twitter, on basically every platform, I'm not gonna name them all, I always talk about staying positive. Um, for some people it's easy a thing to do and for some it's difficult and that also depends on the type of person you are because people who are born pessimistic, uh, they, they are pessimistic and they can't really be positive all that time. Uh, they're more like real realistic people I think. Um, and of course some of you, some people in general, are going through a rough patch. And when you are going through a rough time, if someone says, Hey, just be positive and everything will be okay! I understand that you want to punch that person in the face as hard as you can with a chair, but that's why I don't say be positive that much. I say stay positive. Um, and whenever I say be positive, just know that I mean stay positive, you know? Uh, the reason I say stay positive is because if, if you're going through a, a, a rough time, there's a lot of negativity around you. And the dangers of that is, is that if you are consumed by the amount of negativity that you're letting in, uh, things can go worse. Like, for example, let's say you and your boyfriend had a fight, or your boyfriend is or something happened with your parents, or something terrible just happened, or even something less terrible like your school exams, the stress in that. The thing is, those things are very stressful. And of course, it's really difficult to stay positive when you encounter these types of things, but when you let yourself get consumed by the negativity around it, the, 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 the biggest problem with it is that you can actually slip into depression. When you're in a depression, it's extremely difficult to be positive. Um, of course, like I said, I don't know your exact position, I don't know what you're going through, and I'm not gonna say that, oh, I know what you're going through, because I really don't. We are all different human beings, and maybe you are in a similar situation than me, but it doesn't mean I know exactly what you feel. So I'm just pointing that out. So the, the dangers with a depression is, is because with a depression it's diff it's even more difficult to think positive. Uh, things can happen like you will stay in bed the entire day, or you just feel like not doing anything at all, because those things are, are just gonna make it worse. Um, like, like I said, it's it's easier said than done when I say stay positive. The, the thing that I'm most afraid of with negativity is not only the depression part of it that you can slip into, but the more fear part like suicide and suicidal thoughts. And like some people can get through a depression with tough love. And what I mean with tough love is basically when people say, Oh, you know what? You shouldn't be sad that you got abused or that, that you, your homework or whatever fucked up shit happened. Oh, it doesn't matter. 
kids in Africa have it way worse. Like, for some people that shit works. But for a lot of people it can actually damage them more. You're not gonna help them by saying, Oh, you should feel bad for yourself because you're feeling bad for yourself because you're doing way better than children in Africa. Yeah, great job. Just give people even more to worry about. Don't do that. So, how can you stay positive when things are awful? Well, I, I can't say what you should do. I can only say what I do that helps me and hope for the best that it helps you. So, for the extreme cases, the suicidal thoughts and, and the, 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 the depression part, seek help. Like, talk to a psychiatrist, talk to a psychologist, talk to anyone who you trust. Who you know will keep things to themselves. And like I said, it's easier said than done. Because that's the first step. That's probably one of the most difficult parts, is trying to get help. If you are feeling depressed because of your school, that step might be a bit easier than... If your boyfriend or girlfriend domestically abuses you, for example. You can't simply say, oh, you know what? You, you get hit every time? Oh, well, just go seek help. No, it doesn't work. There's more into that than just that. And I don't know these things because I, I haven't been physically abused in a relationship. So I really don't know what to say. So I can only say the basic things and that is... Please try to seek help because that's the first step for everything. The other common steps to stay positive, of course, is to listen to music, be creative. And even if you're not a creative person, just try it. Do you want to draw? Do you love to draw? Draw! Even if you're shitty, even if you can only draw stickmans like me. Well, I can draw more than stickmen, but <laughs> even if you're shitty at drawing like me. Just try, just have fun with it. Don't be like, oh no, I need to make an amazing dragon or a manga character. No! Just draw a silly stick, man. Make a story about it. That's what I did. Just do these weird things. Do you like guitar? Do you have a guitar? Do you want to learn how to play it? Why not start now? There are so many lessons online for free. Even how to tune your guitar. Like, if you don't know how to tune your instrument, you can look that up. There's so many things that can make us all positive. And I'm pretty sure everybody has a best friend or a friend that they see as very close. Everybody has that. And if you, even if you don't, that's not a problem. Still, many people, even in this community that's still developing, that are positive people, you can always try to talk with them. Friends. This community is still in its infancy. And the, the best thing about it is, is that people are still trying to figure out who they are, what type of community this is. And why not make the first steps by making it a positive community? Show others who come to the channel, who just want to watch the videos. And they, they'll, they'll look into the comments and they see people being super nice to each other. Heck, I want to compliment Haley. Uh, I, I don't know her screen full screen name. I want to compliment Haley because she has done something that surprised me really much. So some of you might know, but there was a guy who said uh, in the comments as a suggestion, kill yourself on stream, it will be fun. Just kill yourself. And Haley actually responded to him. And I thought, oh shit, shit is gonna go down. She's gonna burn the shit out of him or something. Oh fuck, I don't want that. But what did she, what did Haley do? Haley simply, on a politely way, told him basically to go fuck himself. Well, it wasn't, she didn't say anything bad. She basically, she, she, she was very polite. She said like, why do you feel the need to say these things? Greg is a human being with feelings too. And she was so positive. I, 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 the, the comment got deleted. I didn't delete it. So it's, it's such a shame that I can't find the original comments. Because I, otherwise I would have shown you. But Haley was so freaking polite. Even when there was negativity, Haley was polite. And that is one of the most difficult things to do is to stay positive with a smile and be nice when someone's being a dickhole to you. 
It's difficult. I know. I, I still have problems with that too myself. You can always try. How difficult life might be for you right now? Even if you hit rock bottom, heck, if you hit rock bottom, you are lucky. And I know you're like, oh yeah, great. I'm gonna click away. Wait, before you click away, just know, if you're rock, if you if you hit rock bottom, the, here's the positive side of that. You can't fall anymore. So that means you can only go up. So don't give up. Go up. Just know that you, as a person, mean something to this world. Even if you think that nobody cares about you, there are people that care for you. There are people that don't even know you who care for you. There are people who would like to know you. So they can care for you, be your friend. Be your lover. Just know that you are worth something. You can do whatever you want. You can follow your passions. You can follow your dreams. You can do what you want. Just believe in yourself. Stay positive. Because I've seen you guys draw and shit. A lot of you have talent. A lot of you have self-doubt too. Stop that. Talent, you have worth. Don't forget that. And maybe this doesn't matter for you, but I care for you. Even if I don't know every one of you personally, I do care for you. I care about you. Not just because you're my viewers and subscribers, but because you are part of a community. You want to be part of this community. Therefore, I care for you. Because I like to talk with you guys on personal levels. A lot of you talk with me on Snapchat. And I always respond. And you guys seem to enjoy that. And I enjoy that too because I get to know you guys so much better. Way better than just seeing a guy on the internet. Best thing is to get to know each other and make friends. So I'm so sorry if this video is a bit long, but I felt like making this video and I love making these Let's Talk. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more Let's Talks, don't forget to leave a like, it really does help. And of course, if you want, leave a comment about which game you want me to play or even anything you want to talk about. Anyways guys, this is Greg signing out. Real love guys, and I'll see you next time.